the other big guy that we ha- we circled as having a lot on the line in this preseason game, and unfortunately it went the other way today. But Valus Jones Jr. Oof. Worst case scenario. Uh, the Duke, our guy with the super chat here, four ninety nine. Valus man, come on. We Braggs and I talked on yesterday's show. Like, did he need to have a flawless preseason? Like zero muffs. And I, I think yes. I think that was what he had to do. He is, is you know, especially in the punt return game, you had to catch it. And he catches one seven yard return. Okay, great. Then the next one. He makes two mistakes on the same play, and the Titans get the ball. First of all, it went back and watched it. That's got to be a catch 10 out of 10 times, with one exception, if the sun is in your eyes. Right. Which may have been, he's looking south. I don't know. I, I don't think the sun should have been in his eyes there. But, you know, sometimes that happens. He's running up on it, decides at the last second to, to let it go when then he eats it. Then get out of the way. Then, then once you let it go, you let it go. There's there's very – and first of all, you have to earn the trust of your coaching staff to even be given the freedom to pick up a bouncing ball after yep. you let it hit. Um, and he has certainly not done that. So for him to then try to catch it on a high bounce, by the way, the only time after a bounce you, you still catch it to basically preserve field position is if it's a low bounce that comes right to you and there's nobody around you. To try to feel the high bounce – with guys bearing down on him, just tells me that he's completely lost on and feeling the pressure on what he needs to be doing. Like, the game's moving way too fast for him Agreed. in that moment, and that's a dangerous thing. Yeah, you're trying to track the ball. Your, your per- peripheral vision is looking at the gunners coming at you. It's I agree, it's too fast for him. It, it's a hard job, and you can either do it or you can't. And there's just a lot of guys on this team right now that can do it. I'm interested to see Tyler Scott back there. Dante Pettis, if he gets back and is healthy, he was excellent. Doesn't even seem too tall for how well he was. He was very, as far as ball security, he, he was excellent. The punt. <laughs> right. So I thought it was notable too. Once he had the fumble, they did not put him back out there. If yeah. you are really trying to develop him and make him the guy, you're putting him back out there. It's the preseason. Don't do that again. Right. You you get your one. Your, okay. Yeah, but my guess is they had the reps split up, and there's only so many reps. So it's like, okay, that's your evaluation for today. Those were but your like, opportunities. You but don't even give more. if in the next two weeks he doesn't do that, now that one is on the record books. How can you trust him going into the season when it's money well, on the table time? Well, and, and, and Hogue is probably right. These are your two reps. How do you do with them? These are yours. These are yours. Let's evaluate what everybody's doing here, Simba Webster included. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you did with yours. This is what these dudes did with theirs. We're going to make our call. And right now, and looking good for Velas keeping that gig. Which sucks because you use a third-round pick on him, and he does have elite speed, and you would like to see him settle into doing this job. And, and he did have one catch today, which was nice to see. I'd like to see him see more, but at least he did catch one ball. This is why, look, I don't want to be overreaction guy about them cutting a random player in the middle of August because it happens all the time. But I was a little disappointed to see Aaron Cruikshank cut before the first game because he's – he's probably too small and way too limited to be worked into the offense on anything other than maybe an end around or something like that. And I totally concede that, but I'm not sure that that is, is Valus Jones more advanced than that right now in the offense. I don't know. And my, I guess my only point is like, I would have liked to see Aaron Cruikshank who has a long um, resume of being a really dynamic returner at least right. get one opportunity right to, to show what he could do in a preseason game and i don't know if he's claimed or if somebody else will pick him up maybe he won't maybe we'll never hear that name ever again uh in, in the history of the nfl but i part of the problem here and we've talked about it if Valus jones didn't take advantage of this opportunity in the punt return game is who, who's your other guy is it going to just be dante pettis because who got the second opportunity today? I forget. I think it was Tyler Scott no, and Simba Webster. Well, and Tyler Scott, I mean, when we talk about let, let's get him a chance at punts, 
You know, he got the ball knocked out. He's got a hold of the football. You know, and he's had trouble catching the ball. Hands are an issue. Ball security is an issue for Tyler Scott. So, you know, we haven't seen him make a mistake as a punt returner, but with his hands clearly being an issue to this point, how can you know that you can trust him? I, I just and, and that's ideally, right, by the way, it was Tyler Scott. He had one chance and Simba had the other. So there was four returns. I mean, maybe it's asking too much, but like – I just I want a guy that can actually be a dynamic returner, not just What's not just catch the ball so it's not fumbled. What's well, Hester doing? Well, well, <laughs> right, he's maybe. But th- but that's what I mean. Like if Valus Jones can't be that guy, who, like okay, Tyler Scott, fine. Da- but like Dante Pettis was back there last year just because they could trust him to catch the ball, not because he was going to ever take one to the house. Right, right. Well, and when I I asked Richard Hightower this week, what are you looking for from Valus, and. He said without hesitation, a touchdown. And you were like, "Well, wait a minute. How about just ball secure?" And he was like, "He was looking. He's like, do you remember the Seattle play from the preseason?" Again, I, I apologize to Richard Hightower because I acted like I did when I absolutely positively did not. But that was a forty-eight yard return last yeah, year in the, nice. in the in the preseason. And I just said, you know, I thought you were just going to say ball security because that's what I was looking for. Right. There's no question uh, once the ball is in his hands. That he's dynamic. But, but so he was looking for more, which was actually an uplift on the competition. Like, look, we want somebody back there who can make some plays. <laughs>